During the flexion momentum phase, the patient's feet are not flat on the floor due to plantar flexor spasticity. The patient has an anterior pelvic tilt because of hip flexor contracture. The patient may also have a lateral lean due to decreased trunk control. The patient has a wide base of support and their knees are together because of abductor weakness. The patient has a difficult time shifting their center of mass forward because their feet are in plantar flexion and they have an unstable base of support. Simultaneous flexion of the trunk, knee, and hip joints lead to decreased momentum and excessive contractions inhibit momentum to stand. Standing occurs slower. Lack of complete extension occurs secondary to hip flexor contracture at the extension phases and there is decreased stability in the stability phase due to lack of trunk control. Step up, step up, and then stand. Okay. I want to make sure your your toes get to this green line. All right. Keep your feet flat. Okay. Alright, I'm going to play Simon Says. Okay. Simon Says, put your right hand on your side. 